story. Far-left cries to abolish ICE are now going mainstream in the Democratic Party, with New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand becoming the first sitting U.S. senator to publicly call for its elimination, while others say it needs to change. I believe you should get rid of it, start over, reimagine it, and build something that actually works. I think there's no question that we've got to critically re-examine ICE and its role and the way that it is being administered and the work it is doing, and we need to probably think about starting from scratch. I think we need to abolish ICE. That seems really clear. We need some kind of agency to deal with immigration, but ICE is not that. We should abolish ICE. We should create something better, something different. That was real, what you just saw. Uh, This comes after nearly 600 people, including a Democratic congresswoman, were arrested during an immigration protest at a Senate office building. An outgoing acting ICE director, Thomas Homan, responding to the madness on Fox and Friends. Law enforcement, they should be respected. These these men and women run toward danger when everybody else is running away. And that's why I've been sickened the last couple of months about the attack on ICE officers. Also, American heroes that strap a gun to their hip every day are being vilified by members of Congress and the media. Okay, Jesse, so we were just looking at that almost kind of in astonishment. We're taking in the news as it's happening, and this seems to have cycled very quickly in terms of just a quick progression towards abolishing ICE. I don't know if you really would have, like you said, predicted this, what, five years ago? A couple of years ago, Democrats were voting to fund a border wall, and now they want to abolish ICE. It's political suicide, and I cannot believe they're doing it, but at least they're being honest about how they feel. I have to give them that. I mean, they don't want the wall. They don't want zero tolerance. They don't want ICE. They're an open borders party at this point. It's front and center. I think the second ranking Democrat in the House, Keith Ellison, wore a T-shirt that said, I don't believe in borders. So it is what it is. This is the Democratic Party now. And Socialist Democrats are now taking action against ICE centers across the country. Michelle Malkin documented some of it. They rushed through the property on the west side, shut it down, and actually prevented illegals from getting a hearing in front of the judge. Now the illegals have to be detained for an extra six weeks. So it's, it's just backfiring, and it's just astounding because the ICE agents do so many good things. I think they just rescued 57 illegal immigrants, men, women, and children, on the border. They had been abandoned by the smuggler, and it was about 108 degrees. They rescued another pregnant illegal alien female crossing the Rio Grande. Saved her life. And they don't just do that, apprehensions at the border. I mean, they, they go after drug hitmen. They go after child smugglers, narcotics traffickers. On their ICE most wanted list, MS-13 members, criminal alien fugitives wanted for homicide. So, you know, politically, I think this is a real cancer in their caucus. It's going to hurt them, and it's going to backfire. And it just reaffirms everything Donald Trump has been saying about securing the border, and we need law and order in this country. All right. So, Katie, hello. Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you. Happy Happy Friday. Friday. (laughs) Same. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So what do you think about this? Because, you know, you've been studying this immigration situation and obviously people want to be compassionate about children, about families. But is it fair to put the whole onus and the blame on ICE to demonize and then to just sort of in sort of a knee jerk reaction without much thought or deliberation, say to abolish it? Look, this this far left mob that was organized by the extremist radical women's rights or, or sorry, women's march yesterday that descended on the Senate Hart building, they're not interested in protecting children. What they're interested in is abolishing ICE and and declaring that entering this country illegally is not a crime. That is what they want. Linda Sarsour yesterday, who has ties to Louis Farrakhan, by the way, who leads the Women's March, said, when one woman is not free in this country, none of us are free in this country. That is about sovereignty. And when if you get rid of ICE, you're eliminating an extremely important tool that we have in this country to defend our sovereignty. When it comes to what ICE does. Yes, immigration and enforcement borders. is important. The federal government has very few responsibilities. Immigration enforcement, border security is one of those responsibilities. They also deal with child exploitation, human trafficking, terrorism prevention. They are not just an immigration um, outlet, even though that is an extremely important part of what they do. And moving forward on this issue, if Democrats want to decide that this is something they're going to make mainstream, as they have with Senator Gillibrand, Senator Elizabeth Warren jumping into this this mob yesterday, then they need to own it. Because so far they've tried to say that this is a far left thing, this is not the mainstream of the Democratic Party. It absolutely is, and I think voters are going to take notice of that. Okay. All right. Juan. 
Hello. Well, I mean, I, <laughs> I don't know where to start except to say uh, it's not true, as Jesse was asserting, oh, Democrats just want open borders. I think that's the invitation here. Mm -hmm. The reality is that ICE is just, I think, 15 years old. Uh, it was started, created, of course, after 9-11. And what you get is a situation where it's grown wildly beyond anybody's expectation and now not so much involved with what we intended, which was stopping international terrorists from entering the country and the like in the aftermath of 9-11. Mm -hmm. Now they're involved with things like forcibly separating children from parents, these kind of raids that have scared people throughout the country. I thought conservatives were the ones who came up by, with the phrase jackbooted thugs to describe government agencies going overboard, not respecting individual rights in this country. So now you see people standing up and saying, hey, this isn't right. We just had the man who was the spokesman for ICE out in San Francisco resign. Mm -hmm. 17 years in the government, Kimberly. Sure. Military, DHS, everything. He says, you know what? These people are spreading lies about immigrants. They're asking me to lie for them, and I can't do it. That's an indication of the kind of animus now that's being generated. The problem is that under President Trump, what you get is a situation where dealing with immigrants has become criminalized. That, oh, all the immigrants are criminals. Well, that's As not opposed been to well, dealing with the fact that you need to have safety and humane treatment and make sure that our borders are enforced. That's very different than applying a military answer mm -hmm. to a human problem. I think he's been pretty specific about uh, those that come in and enter the country illegally, and especially those that have criminal records or criminal recidivists that have been on a revolving door in and out, like you saw with the Kate Steinle case. And nobody is opposed to immigrants. We are a nation built on immigrants. It just seems that all of a sudden this came out of the shadows, Greg, like ICE has a PR problem. Uh, the hypocrisy is tiresome. The only reason why the Democrats care now is because Trump is president. These problems existed and were exacerbated under President Obama. You saw an influx, an influx of illegal immigrants coming in, and now t Donald Trump is trying to deal with the problem. I have a piece of advice for liberals. Rather than accuse these agents of being inhumane inhum and ripping children from the mother's breasts and all that stuff, focus on ideas and not people. Because what you're doing is you always start at Step one, abolish. Step two is see step one. There is never a solution. <laughs> right. So it's always, it, 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 this is not a democratic party, it's a child's party. Because it, the solution, they have, they, these are children's solutions to adult problems. They are wow. not practical, they are, they are emotional. They do not factor in the consequences. If they believe that in this, in this case that law enforcement is the problem and not the work that they're trying to do, which is to prevent a problem, then put your money where your mouth is, abolish law enforcement in your sanctuary city, all right? If you believe that if law enforcement is an issue, why don't you try it where it matters closest to you and see how it works? I, I believe that anybody who was there in that, in that uh, uh, um, I don't know, mob actually felt the consequence of their actions, uh, removing barriers and, bor and borders so that they feel it, they would feel differently, but they don't have to. That's the beauty of America is you can have a stupid idea because everybody else with good ideas is protecting you. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, I don't think it's about thuggish behavior. You just here. said that they were inhumane. They are. That's what I'm saying is what people are complaining they are about. So them. that's yes. what you get here, Greg, is a situation where they've been creating and investigations into black sites, into abuse of people coming over the border by this group that really has very little accountability, very little supervision because they were put in place to deal with the aftermath of 9-11, not Where, to deal with the Where's the evidence long. of the black and then sites? secondly... Wait, wait, no, but secondly, you can't say secondly. I don't know. You don't, don't know. You're just saying people are saying. That's what I'm... I'm people are saying. Do the is, mysterious people. There's no people, people saying. What we're talking about is what's being reported, Greg. You're not on the border and I'm not on the border. So what yeah, we're doing... I would is, love to see So the what I'm saying to you is we need people who can, in fact, deal with immigration as opposed to making everybody into a criminal. They're not. Entering the country illegally is a crime. That is a That's fact. That's a fact. Wow, we're doing this today all day. I love it. <laughs>